Hi. Today in this geometry node tutorial we'll talk about the set curve radius node. This node is really useful if you want to set a radius to each contour point because as it is a float, it allows you to make the change that you may not be able to do with the curve that you set as the profile of the curve to mesh node, as an example. So I'll first explain the node and then I'll show you an interesting example of its use in which I'll also show you the way the selection input works. Okay, so I'll just like to remind you that I have a playlist where I'm adding information about all of the geometry nodes on the links in the description. I'd also like to encourage you to like this video and subscribe. So first we'll create a Bezier curve and here we can see that every control point has a radius. And if we resample the curve, we're going to have more control points to play with. So when we add the set curve radius node, we'll find that every control point changes accordingly. And that means we can change one by one, for example with a random value. As you see, the radius attribute changes in the spreadsheet editor. We'll add a curve to mesh node and the information will disappear. Then in the profile curve, we'll add a curve circle with a radius of 0.3. And what will happen is that the radius of every control point is going to be between 0 and 0.3. Now let's go with the example. At first, we'll have a new sphere connected to a transform node to make it grow. Then a set shade smooth so it can look better. And then a set material to give it a material that looks cool. Joined to that, there is the original curve with an input that we'll use to animate the sphere and the set curve radius at the same time. So first we'll turn the curve into a mesh. Then we'll add a curve circle with a 0.3 radius as the profile curve. Now we'll add the set curve radius. By now every point has the same radius. We can see it in the viewer. Now we'll add a Voronoi texture in 4D and we'll connect the input to W and the distance to the radius. That will animate our curve and give a different radius to every point. So if we play it, it's going to be waving and each radius changing in the spreadsheet editor. We'll add a resample curve node to have more points and we'll set the count to 32. Now we'll learn to use the selection input of the set curve radius node. For that purpose, we'll add a math node in its less than property. So now it's going to select all the values that are less than the threshold. And how do we input a file that works? We can start with the index value. And as you may know, the index value is the same that appears at the left of the control point, indicating its number in the sequence of control points of the curve. So what we are saying here is that if the index number is less than the threshold, then the control point will be affected by the changes of the set curve radius node. Now we just need to multiply the value of the input by 31 so it makes changes in all of the control points through the animation. And the cherry on top of the tree, the subdivision surface with a level of 3 to make it look softer. So tell me in the comments what you think can be done with this node and maybe I'll do it. By now that'll be it. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.